I feel like last episode confirmed how traumatizing and dark this show is going to be, and I'm just here for it. I'm ready to see my man's heart get broken. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Tokyo Revengers. Let me write down episode five. Last episode, we had finally us coming back to the future realizing that the time we spend in the past is like equivalent parallel to the timeline running in the future we realize we changed some stuff with akun he no longer stabs kiyomasa no longer goes to prison and now is one of the upper echelon in the tomen gang and with that he we kind of go try to reconcile our friendship with him he admits that he was the one who pushed us in front of the train oh, it's just so crazy and then says we haven't even seen mikey in years ever since draken died and it's all about kisaki and then we saw kisaki on the roof listening so i don't know what the past could change in the future to avoid that but he is actively knowing that there is a i don't want to say a manhunt after him but there's some there's some questions that are being answered so you know it's like oh it's, it's it's so crazy and then it just ends off with my man takamichi just crying saying he's gonna save them all drock in mikey it's oh it's just so good it's so crazy there's so many people who have been telling me the show just gets better and better and it's so good i just can't wait i'm literally here for it i say we just jump right on into this Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Bungo Stray Dogs, many, many more to come in the future, check out that Patreon. We are four episodes ahead. Links are in the description for that. If you guys want to support me and Patreon is not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly what I post over here on the Dapper channel. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you. Oh, and TikTok now. Don't forget that. Um, we also have a P.O. Box if you guys ever want to send me any art fan mail anything like that um info for everything is in the description like usual let's hop into this tokyo revengers episode five. Oh, i actually don't know the title for this one all right episode five re-leap like he took a leap of faith once and now he has to re-jump what does that mean yeah did, were we able to figure out what happened to my boy and fight dies 2005 because of Mikey and Ken's different factions, I thought they were always together. Here we go. What is this, an escort? A stripper? Yeah, if they say no kissing, you know it's everything else but kissing. And it usually means they have a boyfriend on the side, you know. I don't know. I don't know. That was... Yeah, definitely. He would have remembered that. He would have definitely remembered that. Okay. That's one thing I'm curious about as well. I'm curious because, hmm, and I don't know if this will be answered or if it's just going to be something that I just have to suspend my disbelief for for a second, but when Takemichi goes from the present to the past, his body is in a suspended state of comatose. It's like just sleeping pretty much. But when his body comes from the past back to the present, it's clear that it's on some sort of autopilot. Otherwise, he would just be knocked out in a coma as well. So do the people around him, a.k.a. Hinata, a.k.a. Mikey, Ken, do they recognize the difference in him when he's his normal self and then when he's his adult mature self? Because the only reason I ask that is because let's say Takemichi never went to the present or never went to the yeah during the last time he did like whole, during the fireworks held hands with Naoto let's say he never did that let's say he just stayed there never had this whole thing with Akun he would never have ended up in a situation with her on top of him in that situation so the Takamichi that isn't our current Takamichi is like hey, he nods I don't care man I'm a gangster I'm gonna get some you know girl you know like is he normal middle school Takamichi like I'm just I'm, I gotta I want to see that I'm that's a weird question I know but I'm curious
今日は大人の竹道かそっけない態度取るしなのに今は優しい顔 More questions 俺が12年後に戻った後ここにいる俺は何も知らない過去の俺なんだあドラケン君もしもし竹道Dr. Michi, I love how they call it, how that little version of his name. <laughs> hey, we weren't asking. Okay. Hey, I always love Hinata. I just do not want. I think our main goal is to get her out of this gang's involvement. <laughs> We're bringing her into the gang's involvement. You. Recement that. You gotta remember why we're here. Oh, it's a biker gang type shit. Ooh. With the fucking Manji gang outfits? I've seen those outfits in the opening and they look so dope. I know. Obviously, they have not been informed of the newest member of the Toman gang. That's all good, though. Ooh. Hold on. S Hang on. Are you talking to me? Okay, so some people have been informed. We have another tall individual here, like Drekken. This is the second division captain, Mitsuya Takashi. Sorry, guys. I might miss names later, so I get them while I can. Interesting. I like his design as well. Okay, so I think that's the first solid time we've seen Manji, which I know I definitely am watching the uncensored version. A lot of you guys have told me to watch the uncensored version. Now, I don't know much, and I don't want to sound ignorant because that's where this issue started from, was from ignorance to where the Manji symbol is a very religious symbol in a lot of Eastern cultures. Now, if I'm correct, obviously it looks like the swastika. Most definitely is not. The swastika is obviously the symbol of the Nazi party, whereas the manji is very religious and very broad. It, I, if I'm, I say I don't want to sound, I don't want to say stuff without like actually knowing. But if I'm correct, doesn't the actual logo or the symbol manji have something to do with like love and compassion and something like that? But I do know this show was censored to try to cover it up because of misinterpretations thinking oh this has nazi propaganda nazi relatability stuff like that no and i understand that i want you guys to know that but i also am not the most informed on this situation i just know that the censored version would add like lights would add like blurs a whole bunch of different distracting stuff to try to hide this symbol i just want to let you guys know that i'm aware and that i'm actively <laughs> Trying to avoid all confusion. But we got Mikey. We got Draken. Why'd you bring your wifey here? Aww. <laughs> Everyone acts so cool around Hinata. Another girl? Don't tell me it's the same girl from earlier. No, no, never met Emma. Nice to meet you, Emma. It's the first time I've ever met. Who does she want? Okay, so... Uh, man, I, okay. First off, I feel bad for my man. He just got caught up in a situation he really did not put himself... Literally, he did not put himself in that situation. Well, he did, but he didn't. You guys know what I'm trying to say. But uh, also very realistic to uh, gang life. Like I said, I don't know a lot about it myself, but I do know from what I have seen, there are a lot of 
women who are not necessarily in the gang life, but are tied to it due to the, their significant other, the person they are in love with. And they're treated a little differently in like the cartel and gangs there. You never like go after a woman, you, you know, like it, it just gets complicated, but I can completely understand where she's coming for that, where she's coming from that she wants to reckon. So she was a little promiscuous to try to get him a little angry, but you know, it, it's just, just he's has other priorities and she's just, Trying to be involved, you know, uh, it's just, it, it actually is very realistically done. That's so, ooh, we get more higher ups. Look at these guys. Ooh, he looks dope. That's fucking Mitsuya Takashi. He looks dope. He looks dope. Also dope. Obvious. What are we watching? Loki? Another gang. These are some other higher ups. Third division. Hey, young. Heard you took good care of Kiyomasa. Oh, so they're homies with Kiyomasa. So they're higher ups, but they definitely respect their higher ups as well. I like his earrings, Takashi. Osanai. Okay. I've paused it a lot this episode. I apologize. You guys know me. Don't like to pause it that much. But I will say I'm thoroughly surprised with how dark this is. Like, when I think of gang violence i think of this but i don't think of this level of gang violence when i think of middle schoolers maybe it's the animation maybe it's the show itself it just makes me it's so, damn like i just damn okay they're the real deal shibuya i see yeah, since Paz Bud was the one who kind of ignited this conflict. Weigh the pros, weigh the cons. August 3rd. Oh my goodness. August 3rd. Shit's gonna go down. We got some shit we gotta do. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Never mind. <laughs> Bro, Ken has got to be one of the coolest, waviest dudes in the show. He looks so fucking dope. I've heard that for Japanese meals, they have a flag that comes with it. <laughs> it's a kid's meal. Okay. I think I saw that in Shield Hero. I think that's the first time I saw that. Oh, this is where it happens. It's a slurpee. It's a slush. Oh, he's stuffed. Okay. Again, I'm pausing and I'm sorry, but I will say Mikey, I said this a couple of episodes ago. I love characters like him where they seem way super, they seem super playful fun go getting like they're but they are i don't want to say it's a facade because i genuinely believe that's his personality but he has such a darker side and there's so much more to his character oh my god like he's such a a gritty and serious leader when he needs to be but he's <laughs> he gets a kid's meal he wants a flag he falls asleep after he's he literally is like a baby yet he commands one of the most dangerous and violent gang it is it's it's an oxymoron and i love it 
The hospital? Horrible. Probably the parents knows her their daughter ended up getting involved with some shady individuals. Understand how they'd be upset. I do like how Draken instantly. There's a certain level of respect you have to, you know. He takes offense to a lot of stuff like that because of the relationship with his brother and stuff. I, I'm more on Draken's side. You should definitely take responsibility for this. Mikey's right. But just because you're right, like, that's not gonna... That's not gonna alleviate his frustration, you know? His daughter is literally was raped, beat up, and put in a coma. I'm, I gotta be Team Dad here. I can't... I can't... I'm Team Draken and Team Dad right here. I can't be Team Mikey, you know? Like, this is horrible. This is the thing that will always get me about violence and stuff like this, you know? You don't realize what you're doing to other people. You really don't. <sighs> Understandable. I don't know if Draken knew that the parents would be here, but I knew... I, I think he knew taking Mikey to see her was so that they can feel guilt and motive. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's good to see this. It's good to see how it impacts everyone. To, to know your, your actions have consequences, you know? Innocent people know. <laughs> how did Draken turn into my favorite character in the show? In two episodes. Yeah. Because they didn't have him to balance it out. He is such a caring, kind person. Yeah, facts. I don't know about that. I could definitely see some issues rising up. Oh, this show is so fucking good. I'm just, I just get confused. I'm so glad I'm able to pause it because I'm reacting solo by myself and I'm not in a group because... I would not be able to write stuff down and be able to talk about it like that. There's so much shit that happened in this last episode. And uh, from everything to Emma and Takamichi to Hinata to Draken to Mikey to Naoto to Hinata. I, I literally started with Hinata, went back to Hinata. That's just how inner circle this fucking show is. Everything connects so well. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we have some serious issues here. And, oh man, it's so crazy. August 3rd, our conflict with Mobius. There are two generations above us and they handle Shinjuku or Shibuya. And, oh my god. So Pa's buddy got into it with them. Oh, that's, I don't even want to talk about that. That's horrible. I completely feel bad for the parents, the girlfriend in that situation. And that's like... And it definitely makes it like i don't want to say real it, it is realistic but it makes it more relatable that they are in middle school slash high school in this show because i definitely knew a couple of kids who i they weren't a part of any gang or anything we, we around here we don't really have any gangs thankfully but definitely some delinquents to where like they would light shit on fire in the school they would steal teachers cars i'm not even joking that happened twice so I, and I know I could name these kids off. I'm telling you, but, but from where I'm going with that is every time, like in these two kids that I'm talking about delinquents, you know, you know, I was cool. I wasn't friends with them. I knew of them. They knew of me, but they were insanely popular people. Like the girls loved him. The guys loved him. It's like, like, especially when you turn into an adult versus when you're a teen, when you're at this level, when you're this age, you don't see things like you do when you're an adult. Like me being a teenager, like if I watch this in high school, I guarantee you I'm on team Mikey right there. I'm like, whoa, why are you blaming them? They didn't do anything. Why should Mikey eat about? But now that I'm an adult and I am able to put myself in other people's shoes just a little bit better, there's like, I only could feel like sympathy and empathy for the family. Like, oh my God, it's just horrid. But like, you can't and like 
there's people out there who would blame the daughter. Oh, she played stupid games, won stupid prizes. She's dating a delinquent. But like I'm saying, from when you're at that age, you don't see a delinquent as a delinquent. You think Hinata sees Takamichi as a delinquent? All she sees is a kind, compassionate, you know, it's like, there's so many different comp, there's like an onion. It's like Shrek. There's so many layers to this. It's just fucking crazy, you know, like, Oh, it gets it gets so deep. It's, it's, it's the show touches on a lot of things, whether it be related to gang life, whether it be related to how you interact with other people, whether it be how you find your place in this world. You know what really matters to you. This this show is just touches on a lot. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I really the show makes me go on tangents. Like I'll think about something and I'll think, oh, it's fucking crazy. The show is fantastic. I'm loving every single every bit of it. If you guys enjoyed it as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. All that jazz. I will catch you in this next episode. Peace out, you guys. <laughs>